What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using one of the strongest bugs in competitive Pokemon. We got ourselves a Volcarona team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Volcarona, this Pokemon is always solid in whatever format it is in. It's never broken, it's never overpowered, but it's always in that right spot where it's just solid. This Volcarona over here is Rock and Flame Body with Leftovers as item. Then it's got Flame Thrower for stab, Bug Buzz for stab, Quiver Dance to set up those stat boosts. And last but not least, we have Protect. This is a Pokemon I absolutely love, especially with Quiver Dance. Those stat boosts just make this thing go crazy. A restricted Pokemon on today's team going to feature Choice Spec Me Ride On. You guys have seen this Pokemon all across the rank ladder as of recently, and for good reason. It hits like an absolute truck. It's got Hadron Engine with the Choice Specs as its item, Electro Drift. Draco Meteor, Discharge, and Bolt Switch. Our other four Pokemon on today's team feature kind of like a Trick Rumor side of things. You got Iron Hands, Free Grab, Ursa Luna, and obviously Whimsicott's going to be there for Tailwind and Speed Control. But Iron Hands, Free Grab, and Ursa Luna, all part of a slow group that works well in Trick Rooms. We can set the Trick Room with Free Grab and really start getting after it with two big time attackers with Iron Hands and Ursa Luna. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop to our first match using Full Corona. Going up against Ice Rider Calyrex in match number one, alongside with Regilecki, who is a very fast Pokemon that can't really take hits that we haven't really seen too much in Regulation G. They also have that Urshfruit and Pelipper combo, really, really strong. On top of that, they got Farigarath and Sheer Force Lander. So I kind of like Full Corona here for lead especially with the dragon terror type if they want to go into the water type pokemon so i'm gonna go volcarona here and honestly i might just go in with iron hands as well we can fake out turn one we can set up a quiver dance we can really start getting after it that way so that's something i honestly really like i do like that especially with like 138 speed here so yeah i'm gonna go iron hands i'm gonna go volcarona in the back end obviously miradon is going to be a must spring and last but not least do we go whimsicott just for like tailwind support later that could be nice that speed control could be awesome later in the match if we need it. I mean, we could go into Ursula in case they want to pop Trick Room. There is a possibility that they do that. So yeah, you know what? I'll do that. Because if they don't go into Trick Room, then we'll just be out speeding with like full Corona and Miradon. Something I do like. All right, let's see who they end up bringing here. I think they're going to bring Landorus, um, probably Regilecki, some sort of speed control, unless they're going to go for Trick Room with Calyrex. Uh, Pelipper and Urshifu could come through. They got a lot of different options, I feel like. But yeah, let's see if we can grab ourselves one with full Corona. I would love to just fake out set up this quiver dance but if they go in the rain and eh, that could be a little annoying that could definitely be a little annoying let's see what you got here it's gonna be these two so i can't fake out um hmm i can't fake out i don't think there's a point of me going for quiver dance i think we just launch a heat wave i think we just launched heat wave actually i could just go for bug buzz into for rigorath and try to just rip into it and that's gonna be my play I might even try Volt Switching out of here. Bug Buzz with Volt Switch? Or with Volt Switch could be nice. I feel like someone's got to protect and someone's got to pop a Trick Room. I'm going to double down the Frig Raph. Calyrex might just Terrastalize here. I'm look to go for like a Glacial Lance. Yeah, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. We're going to go into a Fire Terror type. Not bad. We're not launching a Heat Wave. We're trying to get rid of this Frig Raph in hopes that we're predicting that this thing's going to go in the Trick Room, right? Now it's going helping hand. Ouch. We can say bye bye to our Volcarona, probably, right? Bug Buzz still gonna fly here. Do some big time damage. We love it. Bring you down to red HP. Glacial Lance gonna fly. Really no trick room. Kind of surprising. Volcarona actually soaks rather well. Not gonna sit here and lie. Volt Switch gonna pivot out and pick up a KO on the Frigger F, which is pretty massive. So now I could go into Ursa Luna if I want to. Ursa Luna's not a bad Pokemon here. Or I could go into who me ride on. I mean, you don't have Trick Room up, and I can't get Terrain. I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of like that. We can rip damage. Plus, I can protect maybe going for a Discharge this turn with a Terra Boost. But at that point, we're going to be choice into that. But I don't mind that. I don't mind that, because then I can just swap into Earth Saloon if I want to. I like this. My Pokemon's fast. He's a fast boy. He's a fast boy. So I'll get Leftovers HP, which is awesome. We got rid of Furigraph. We actually soak Glacial Lance rather well. A, hel a helping hand Glacial Lance, I should say. Rather well. So they're going to go into... Okay, you. Who has got to go. We don't really feel like dealing with that. Um, hmm. This kind of sucks. This, this is forcing me to kind of double down into you. 
as much as I don't want to, but I am going to do that. I'm going to double down into this thing. I'm going to go Flamethrower. I'm going to Terrasalize into Electric, because I... Mm, is it worth Terrasalizing into Electric? Yeah, I really don't want to take big time damage to, uh... To what's it called? Glacial Land. So, I'm going to go into Electric here. And I'm going to drop a Flamethrower and double down into this thing. I need... This boy dead. I need him dead. I need him dead if we if we want to shadow win this game. Need him gone. So I still have two bulky Pokemon in the back, and Iron Hands took some damage or soon as at full HP. We're gonna end up terrestrializing this thing. And Draco Meter's gonna connect, which is huge. Does it one shot? It does one shot. That's massive. That's massive. My special attack gonna drop significantly, but But Playing Throw is gonna fly over here. Now, Glacial Land's gonna do some damage. This does about negative five. And I should soak. Now, do I sacrifice my Iron Hands here? I could sacrifice my Iron Hands, or I could just sacrifice my Volcarona here. Mm, but I want my Miradon. Do I need my Miradon? We're gonna see the final Pokemon, so I can decide here. It's gonna be Pelipper. I mean, what are you gonna do? Set up a Tailwind? I don't really need my Volcarona at all. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I'd rather just take off Focus Ash of you, and then go into Iron Hands and save my Miradon. Because if I get it next to Ursulino late game, and just start throwing, throwing what's called across discharges. But the only problem is if you set up a, uh, if you set up a Tailwind this turn, that's that's our problem. That is our problem. So do I just double down the Pelipper? I think we just double down the Pelipper here and allow it not to set up a. I think we not allow it to set up a what's it called? Oh, we got Draco Meteor. Oh no, I don't have an electric move ready to go. I can't really allow it to set up a Tailwind. That's my problem, and I miss a Draco Meteor. That's rough. That's rough. That's rough. You got a Tailwind here? That's the real question. Are you Tailwinding? Bug Buzz does respectable damage there. He's gonna go for a Hurricane instead. Okay, I can deal with that, I guess. Uh, but he picks up a double KO with Glacial Lens, which is kind of scary. Of course, you get the Ducks. Yeah, I should have swapped me right on. I kind of second guessed myself there. Which really sucks. Now we got to hope. Oh, actually, Volcarona soaks that, which is pretty good for us. Volcarona soaks that. Hmm. What's our play here? To bring out Ursaluna or. Or Iron Hands. But yeah, I second guessed that. I could have swapped my Miraidon because then Discharge would have won us the game. But I didn't want him setting up. My whole thing was I didn't want him setting up, what's it called? Tailwind. But 103, you should be faster than everybody except for Pelipper. Pelipper's scary, man. I mean, Iron Hands can 1v1 this Pelipper, I think. But, I think Ursuline is going to be your play. I'm going to go into Ursuline. You got 106 speed. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going for Earth Power and that thing. And we're just going to keep Bug Buzzing this. Earth Power will do some big time damage. What would do more? Earth Power or Blood Moon? I mean, Blood Moon Stab. This is Stab super effective. We're going for Earth Power. Earth Power. Pelipper probably outspeeds you now. Weather Ball. Mm, can we soak a Weather Ball in the rain? That's where things get tricky here. Bug Buzz is going to fly here. It's doing respectable damage. Pelipper stats are hot garbage. And he's going to go for a Hurricane in the Bulk Burner, which we love. Which we love. Now, if we land this Earth Power, it should KO and we should win this game. Right? It should KO. Be very upset if it doesn't. Earth power flying. We lost this game. Glacial Land's gonna finish us off. That hurts, man. That hurts. I just expected more damage out of Ursaluna. Especially with the life orb. I expected more damage. Any chance we can win this game? Is there any chance? I mean, Iron Hands, do you outspeed this Calyrex by chance? Maybe? I don't know, man. Calyrex is pretty slow. The only way we win this one is if we outspeed that Calyrex. Drain Punch for some HP. KO at the same time. I do have Quirk Drive boosting my attack, which is great. Um, but Pelipper might be able to just do some big time damage onto us. I gotta go for Drain Punch here. wonder how much damage Hurricane can do. Thing is, we're gonna have to soak up like two. There's one Hurricane. Did we even soak up one? I don't even think so. Wait a minute. No, we don't outspeed. I was going to say, if we outspeed that Calyx, we actually probably would have won that game. But, yeah, we didn't outspeed there. 
Because that did about half damage. We would have got some HP back from Drain Punch. We would have been able to soak up another one and KO. But honestly, tough loss there for me. Looks like we got a mirror matchup in our bounce back match in match number two. Volcarona versus Volcarona. Hopefully they bring their Volcarona because I'm totally bringing my Volcarona. I'm going to actually lead my Volcarona. And I might end up leading it with Whimscott. Or do I lead it with Iron Hands? Iron Hands isn't a bad play. It is not a bad play. Because I love to just go into like a Quiver Dance, Fake Out, or potentially like Volt Switch Iron Hands. Get some speed control with like Whimsicott. And really start getting after it that way. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring you. And last but not least, we are going to end up bringing Miraidon. I know they have Groudon. But outside of Groudon, Miraidon can absolutely rip here. So I'm all about this. I am all about this. Let's see who they end up leading. I feel like it's got to be like Groudon with like, I don't know, probably like Fluttermane. Some sort of Protosynthesis Pokemon. It could be Volcarona just to boost some damage. But I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. Let's see. It's going to be Groudon and Rage Bull. Okay, so I mean Dragon Terror type going to be our best friend. Fake Out could also help us out here up against Groudon. And that might be our play. Just go into Fake Out Quiver Dance. And not use our Terror just yet. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to go Quiver Dance here. On top of that, we're just going to fake out the ground on. I'm not dealing with a... Uh, with a Blades here. It's just not happening. It's just not happening. I probably should have faked out the Raging Bolt and predict like, Protect for Groudon. But it's Groudon. I have to fake it out. Because if it doesn't protect, we pretty much lose the game with Blades just taking out both my Pokemon. But let's see what Raging Bolt ends up doing. I'm kind of hoping Raging Bolt protects. That'd be massive. If Raging Bolt protects. That would be lovely. Yeah, this Quiver Dance could be massive. Special attack boost, special defense boost, speed boost. Then we're in the sun too, so Heat Wave can chunk up some damage. But Fake Out is going to find the Groudon. He is not going to protect, which is nice. Quiver Dance is going to fly through here. We're going plus one on uh, the stats that I mentioned. Alright, Volcarona. I love you. Now what are you going for, Raging Bolt? What you got cooking here? You're going to go for Volt Switch Pivot, which is fine. You soak decently well, Volcarona. You got leftovers. I can protect this turn. Really kind of go from there. But I'm boosting on speed, which is perfect. Which is perfect. I might just protect Volcarona this turn and swap Iron Hands. I might Terra swap Iron Hands. Just so I can Volt Switch Pivot. Let's see. It depends who he goes into. It's going to be Fluttermane. We might have to Terra. We might have to Terra. Might have Terra. Heat Wave can do some damage here. Heat Wave can do some damage, which is really good. I know we're outspeeding the ground, and we're probably not outspeeding the Flutter main. I don't want to go into Dragon Terra now that you're on the field, but do you have Grass? You have Water. I could maybe protect and then just swap into Wimscott, but if they're going for Gleam and Precipice Blades, then we have a little bit of an issue. I, I think we might just want to Terra and Volt Switch Pivot. And kind of go from there. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Protect you, get back some HP. Terrestrialize water, go for a wool switch into a... Uh, into Fluttermane, rather than a hard swap. Because if I hard swap, I'm pretty much just bringing out whatever Pokemon to die, right? They gotta be going for Blades, they gotta be going for Dazzling Gleam. Some sort of combination like that. So I really don't want to just sacrifice my Pokemon. So I'd rather use Iron Hands to soak up the shots, full switch out, add my Fake Out later. Bring out like Whimscott or something. And then start throwing heat waves. I could always encore after this too, which is good. So we use our terror here. Protect gonna fly out from our lovely little bug. Get some HP back due to our leftovers. And he's gonna go for a moon blast in this slot. Which we soak decently well. And you get a special attack drop. Lovely. And there goes Blades. Can you dodge it, Iron Hands? Get a little bit dodge action. We love a little bit of RNG. Never for me, right? Never for me. Iron Hands able to soak that. Gorgeous, lovely Volt Switch gonna pivot out. Do about negative five. And from here, we'll bring out Wimscott because I want some speed. I want some speed, man. I want some speed out here. I don't want some speed. I need some speed. I need some speed. There goes some leftovers. We're going to start throwing heat waves. We're going to start. We're going to put up a tailwind here as well. And oh, dude, I thought we had heat wave instead of flamethrower. This kind of sucks, actually. We got bug buzz in the ground on instead. Yeah, we're going Bug Buzz in the Groudon with a Tailwind. I thought we had Heat Wave. Oh, man. Flamethrower? Really? I thought we had Heat Wave. Heat Wave's just, just so much better. It's so much better. So we have a chance to actually 
Actually, I probably should have went Flamethrower instead for a chance to burn, but Bug Buzz, I like Bug Buzz. I think it does a bit more damage, too. We probably should have went for Flamethrower, get that chance to burn on the Groudon. Would have been huge. But he ends up withdrawing Fluttermane, so that's a, this is a fine turn for us just to attack this Groudon. And he's gonna go into back into Raging Bolt, maybe? Yeah, Raging Bolt's gonna come back out here. So the RB comes out here for a special attack boost. Tailwind okay, gonna fly. He gets some speed for his squad. And Bug Buzz, how much damage are you doing? Plus one. And a crit. Leaves you on about one HP, which sucks. Now Heat Crash can just KO me, correct? Oh, Volcarona soaks. It's pretty big, Volca. That's pretty big. That's pretty big, Volcarona. That's pretty big that you soaked that. That's pretty big. We're now just going to go into a Protect and honestly just Moonblast this Groudon down. Get rid of this Groudon. I don't want Thunderclap flying through here just KOing me. So I'd rather get back some HP and actually have a chance to soak this up. The Volcarona doing big time damage on the Groudon. They still have Fluttermane. Getting rid of Groudon's big though. Getting rid of Groudon's big. I should have went for Flamethrower anyway. You get that Sun Boost. I don't know what I was thinking last turn. But still, we probably wouldn't have gotten a crit if we didn't use Bug Buzz. So it's good to know that. It's good to know that we got a crit. Kind of makes up for it. Alright, cool. The Volcarona is just sitting here. I got to protect it. There's n there's no doubt in my mind that I have to protect it. I can't have Thunderclap just KO me. And he's going to withdraw Groudon. So who's going to take this Moonblast? Who's taking a nice, lovely, whimsicott Moonblast? Going to be Fluttermane. That's fine by me. Protosynthesis is going to boost it up. Speed is going to be heightened. And protecting the file from my Volcarona. Now the question is, are we soaking a... Uh, a thunderclap. I don't know if we are. I don't know if we are. There goes Moonblast. I could honestly encore him into thunderclap and just swap. Or I could just go into like a quiver dance. And get some more turns. Do we think he's going for Gleam here? We could try to make a, a, a gutsy play, but I, I think our best bet is... Actually, we could just go for another Protect, try to get back some more HP. And just throw another Moonblast here. Or are you going for another Thunderclap? Now, if you KO, that's fine. You know what? We're, we're just going to attack here. We are just going to attack. We're going to go for a Bug Buzz into you. And then I'm just going to keep Moonblasting down this slot. Actually, let's Moonblast down this slot. Let's attack you. Are you going for Thunderclap? I hope not. Try to make a read. You withdraw him. Cool. I'm, I'm so down with that. I'm so down with that. So now we're doubling down into your final Pokemon slot. Groudon's gone. You're going to go into Shen Pao, which honestly, we just KO Shen Pao here if we land our shots. We just KO Shen Pao. Oh my god, you're not Sash either. Lovely. Later, Shen Pao. I can't believe you didn't go for Thunderclap. I think they were trying to make a read here that uh, we were swapping or maybe going for like another protect or something. But Moonblast chipping up damage. No special attack drop. He ends up Moonblast dropping my Volcarona. That's totally fine because now I can just bring out, what's it called? Miraidon, right? Suddenly it's gone. I can just bring out Miraidon. Their Protosynthesis is gone. And I can just go into Discharges. Correct? Sounds pretty, sounds pretty right. But Volcarona thriving out in this match. Doing big time damage to Groudon. One shot in Shen Pao. Lovely. Love this Pokemon. Love Volcarona. Especially after a Quiver Dance boost. It survived on one, which was great. We just love everything about it. The Quiver Dance is just, it's just what makes it difference. It's just such a good move. Speed boost, special attack boost, and special defense boost all in one turn. It's ridiculously strong. But now we go into Miraidon. As long as we have Tailwind, we should be fine here. I mean... Obviously, he's sitting there with that. Um, do we have Tailwind this turn? That's the real question. And we do. Do I just choice into... Actually, do you have Terra? Do you have Terra? We're not going to go into this charge. I might just Volt Switch Pivot here. Wimscott is faster, which is good news. I am going to go into this charge. I think you Terrastalize here. I'm just going to move less. I have Focus Ash on my Wimscott, which is good news. Really good news. Um, yeah, I'm just going to discharge here. You give me no reason not to. You give me no reason not to. Because I do believe you're going to terrestrialize that Raging Bolt anyway. Into like Fairy typing. So that could be good. 
You have to terrestrialize it. If Wimscott stays on the field, we just moon blast it down. Which it it probably is, right? I mean, it's your final two Pokemon. And yeah, there's a Tower type. It's gonna be fairy, isn't it? Show me fairy so I can just discharge this thing. You weren't you weren't ready for me to throw a discharge here. No, you're electric terra. You little biscuit. You little biscuit. So electric terra gonna pop here. We might have to just swap our uh me ride on here. But he's gonna end up going for a thunderclap into me ride on. Which does negative five damage. Negative five damage. Discharge gonna finish off everything on the field. Wimscott's now gonna be able to throw a moon blast and did we just choice that thing into thunderclap? Or Encore into Thunderclap? We could. We could Encore into Thunderclap. Which is probably in our best interest. Or I could go for a Tailwind. I mean, we got a special attack drop. I'm going to swap my Miride on here. Oh, you still have another Pokemon. You still have Groudon. How dare you. Hmm. You still have Groudon. I thought we KO'd that thing. I have to swap me right on here. Do I or do I not? You still should be fastest on the field. But the only problem is Thunderclap. It's my only problem. I feel as I have to swap my Mirai on here. We don't need Tailwind though. We don't need Tailwind. That's that's the only other problem here. I could just protect Wim Scott and swap me right on. I need to reset this choice. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna swap me right on it and just protect. And just protect my Wimscott. Wow. I totally forgot. I thought we KO'd Groudon. He swapped it with the HP. I said it even before. I was just like, yeah, we KO'd we KO Groudon. Don't have to worry about it. But now I'm playing this one totally different. Should have checked. Should have looked in the top right hand corner just to see how many Pokemon they have left. But honestly, I forgot. So we're just gonna protect you, Wimscott. I think you go for Thunderclap in the Wimscott regardless here. And if you protect Groudon, that's massive, because then I can just fake it out next turn. He goes for Draco Meteor in this slot. Can you soak this? You do. That's awesome. So now you're minus three on special attack. That special attack drop earlier was just so big. But from here, obviously, I just want to fake you out. I know Wimscott will outspeed this Groudon, and I can just, on oh, not on court, Moonblast it. All about it. All about it. So even though I forgot about your Groudon, we're still sitting in a great position to win this game now. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. Moonblast gonna fly. We're gonna finish off the Groudon. Now it turns into a 3v1 with low HP Pokemon, but you're minus three on special attack, which is doesn't get bigger than that. Doesn't get bigger than that. So from here, we're gonna try to throw a Drain Punch. We are honestly just going to Moonblast you down. And I believe they cancel match, right? Because once I bring out my Miraidon, I can just land a Draco Meteor and say Night Night. Maybe land a Draco Meteor. RNG could do me dirty. It could do me dirty. So I'm not gonna say this one's over just yet. But I mean. You're gonna need some crits if you wanna beat me. You're gonna need some crits here. It's gonna end up going for, th for a Thunderclap, which I probably soak, right? No, Wimscott actually dies out to that. But how much damage is Drain Punch doing? You're just allowing me to get back some HP. Drain Punch gonna fly. Not enough damage. And now we're sitting here, a uh, nice little 1v1 action. Or not a 1v1, 2v1. And I think choicing into Electro Drift is probably our better option, right? Because God forbid RNG just does me dirty and misses uh, Draco Meteor, right? God forbid. God forbid. So from here, we're just going to go Drain Punch. We're going to choice into Electro Drift. I know it's not very effective, but still, this thing's on 1 HP. And finally, they cancel the match. Full Corona showing up and showing out in match number two. Would love to do that again up against this Dragonite Ice Rider Calyrex team. They also have Ursaluna, so Trick Room is going to be scary. But they also have another side of things, more so like Speedy with Tailwind Tornadus. Urshifu and Fluttermane, that is something we're also going to have to watch out for. But I love Volcarona here. I love just trying to set up a Quiver Dance. Doing some big time damage could be really good for us. So I'm going to go Volcarona here. Nice, lovely lead for this Pokemon. Um, I could go into Whimsicott here and maybe force them to set up Trick Room. Or not Trick Room. Yeah, yeah. Force them to set up Trick Room, then Encore them into it. That's not bad, but I like the Iron Hands lead. I just think Iron Hands is such a good Pokemon. Faking out turn one is going to be big. And setting up that Quiver Dance is going to be even bigger. So I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to bring Mirai on. And last but not least, we are going to go Life Orb Ursaluna. Just in case they want to set up that Trick Room. Ursaluna is just a nice bulky Trick Room user. We love this guy. We love that guy so much. But we're one and one We'd love to grab ourselves a winning record here. Especially with the bug. Because bug typing, let's be honest, one of the worst typings in competitive. But Volcarina kind of just... 
is different than the other bugs, right? Volcarona is good. It's so good. That and like Scissor are just so good, competitively wise. But they're gonna go Fluttermane, Ursulina. We're gonna end up going into these two. Uh, faking out the Ursulina could be a good call for us, and just setting up a Quiver Dance could also be good. Um, I like our typing, so yeah, I'm gonna go Quiver Dance here. A nice, lovely Quiver Dance and a simple fake out into this line. Actually, a Terra fake out is probably in our best bet. I don't feel like taking a million damage to a Moonblast, right? Yeah. Iron Hands Terra. Gonna be great. I wish we had Grass Terra. Grass Terra is so much better than Water Terra for him. I mean, I guess it's for Ice Rider Calyrexes, so it kind of makes sense, right? Yeah. Actually, Water does make sense. Because previously, in other formats, it was like Grass because Fluttermane was its big threat. But now, with the Restricted Pokemon and Ice Rider Calyrex here, it's a little bit of an issue. But this thing's going for Trick Room. He's going for Trick Room here. I, I was kind of confused to why my Volcarona out sped there. But he's going for Trick Room, that's why. Yep, there's Trick Room. Alright. The Trick Room out and about. We have Water Terror. Um, protecting Volcarona here is going to be pretty good for us. And this thing is Room Service as well. Alright, so no Life Orb. That's good news. So from here, we will protect you and... Do I just go Drain Punch looking for damage or do I attack Fluttermane? Because I could Volt Switch Pivot and try to get my, my own Ursulina out here. But I mean, just Drain Punching this, uh... This Ursulina down is probably our best bet. Definitely our best bet. Because they're going to chip up damage and then we're just going to, you know, get some damage back. He's going to go for Blood Moon. You know, it's lovely Blood Moon. How much damage is Drain Punch doing here? A lot. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. Now it comes to Dazzle Blue. That's fine. That is fine. So you're going to try to take out my Volcarona for my Iron Hands? Is that your play? Blood Moon's scary, man. <laughs> Blood Moon's so scary. I think we have to. I think we have to just sacrifice a Volcarona. Might as well go for another Protect. Let's be honest. Might as well do it. Go for it. Go ahead, Volcarona. My girl! Or guy! Whatever, whichever one you are. That's big time plays for Volcarona. That's big time plays for Volcarona. That's a big time Protect because now I get rid of Ursulina. And I waste out even more Trick Room turns. And I get back some HP. Oh my god, I love you, Volcarona. Love you, Volcarona. But they didn't go for Blood Moon, so we could have honestly just stayed on the field. Unless they're going for another Dazzle Gleam. But Volcarona can soak Dazzle Gleams pretty well. Especially with that special defense boost. Yeah, Volcarona would have been totally fine. Would have been totally fine. Do I go for the Triple Protect? Probably not. I think it's now it's a good time for us to attack. We got a Quiver Dance set up. And we'll go from there. If they want to bring out a Physical Attacker, we got Flame Body as well. So if I could just attack this turn, then protect. We're, we're wasting out Trick Room turns pretty well. And they're going to go into Calyrex. Cali Cali out here. And I think going into Bug Buzz rather than uh, rather than Flamethrower is our play because chances are you're going to Thrasize. So I'm going to do that with a nice little Wild Charge in this slot. Because you might have Water Terror. Let's be honest. You might have Water Terror. That you might go into to dodge my fire moves. We're doubling down to Calyrex here. And if you want to protect Calyrex, then that just wastes out another Trick Room turn. And then we can protect our Volcarona next turn and just start slowly getting after it. So we're wasting out Trick Room really well here with the bug with the bug baby bulk run is just so nice i'm telling you quiver dance one of the best moves ever they, we are so lucky that quiver dance is only learned by a couple pokemon so lucky but out comes glacial lance bulk runner soaks rather well iron hand soaking rather well here as well and wild charge is going to connect deal some nice damage and as long as bulk runner hits this thing with bug buzz it should be dead and bulk runner should soak that oh my god we're soaking all day GG's. Pug Buzz finishing you. Get it on out of here. What's better? Legendary Ice Horse? Fire Moth Bug. I think the bug. I think the bug. <laughs> so I'm going to get some HP back with leftovers. I could protect it here again. It really depends on who they go into. But right now, Volcarona is faster than everybody, so I might as well just protect. I got Flame Body as well, which is good. There's one turn left, Trick Room. Yeah, we might as well just protect you. We might as well protect you, and then if we can... Get off a Wild Charge, I guess. I guess, but I believe they might even cancel battle right here. My Volcarona is killing it. It's lighting it up. Having no problem this match. But I think they want to go E-Speed into this thing. I mean, I have Flame Body. More importantly, again, I outspeed this Flutter Mane after his Quiver Dance boost. So if I could just soak up an E-Speed, that means Volcarona can just get off another turn. So by protecting, I, one, waste out Trick Room turns, and two, I get back some more leftovers HP. 
I love this Pokemon. I'm actually glad I picked this picked using this Pokemon today. I'm actually super glad. There we go, nice little protect. Wild Charge gonna fly. Do a lot of damage. Focus Sash up. Wow, I wasn't expecting that thing to Focus Sash up off of just that Wild Charge, but I'll take it. I'll take some damage to recoil. And they're gonna double down into you. Okay, that's fine. I mean, he was dead anyway to like a Dazzle Gleam. Now we're sitting in a perfect position where you're probably choosing Outrage here as well. I mean, you don't even have to be choosing Outrage. Once you use it once, you have to use it like multiple times. So I protect, block that final flutter main shot, get some leftovers, and now I can bring out me right on here and win this game, no problem. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Trick room gone. Trick room gone. I could go into you, but me right on to play all day. Lovely little me right on. Now the real question is, does my <laughs> Volcarona outspeed my Miradon? I believe it should, because I want to go for a Discharge here. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I want to go for a Discharge. And I think I'm going to sacrifice my, my Volcarona here. As much as I don't want to, it should outspeed you with that plus one speed boost. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with just going for a nice little like flamethrower slash bug buzz into you. What's going to do more damage? Actually do the same amount of damage, but we can burn here. So I'm going to go flamethrower here, and I'm just going to send a Discharge. Sending it. I'm choosing into it. I'm choosing into it. So Volcarona should do a little bit of damage here. Enough to take off multi scale if you have it. And actually, you're outspeeding my Miradon, which actually could have got real bad. That could have got real bad. But now Discharge should fly and finish us off. Yep, and Volcarona soaks regardless, so we don't have to sacrifice our Volcarona. We end up just winning this third and final match. Who said bug typing was the worst in competitive? Who was it? I want to find them. Because it definitely is. Bug typing sucks. But Volcarona is phenomenal. We love this Pokemon in competitive. And we just proved today why this Pokemon is so strong. You set up some quiver dances. This thing is soaking up special attacking shots. And doing big time damage all day long. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.